Have you been asking the following questions? What is a WordPress website? Or how can I start a blog website? In this video, we are going to show you how to download and install a WordPress website to a server. But in this video, we are going to use a local server called ZAMP. After installing your ZAMP server or your WAMP local server, any one of your choice, you just head on to www.wordpress.org dot org not dot com remember on the top right corner you will see a little button get wordpress get wordpress you go ahead and click on it you wait a little until it processes all right so here we have the price lex and also free download wordpress and use it on your site so you go ahead and click on what download wordpress 5.1.1 is the newest wordpress version as of when this video is recorded so we go ahead and click on download so you see at the bottom left corner uh, my wordpress file is now downloading as you can see all right it has finished downloading so we go ahead you right click on it and show click on show in folder so you can see our wordpress file here is a zip file so you can see the zip wordpress 5.1.1 so we go ahead and double click on it to open the zip file so here we have the wordpress folder this is the folder containing our wordpress file so if you click on it you can see the wordpress files the php scripts the folders admin the content the includes this is our website so if you know a lot about web designing you should know what is going on here if you don't know go ahead and watch our tutorials on web designing should be able to know what is going on all right so we go ahead and copy this folder you right click then you copy then we go to our zamp root directory this is our zamp click on zamp then click on htdocs which is where we store our websites then we paste our wordpress file which we've copied over here as you can see the progression is fixed in now the wordpress website that we copy oh, yet so it has finished its installation all right so before you go ahead to install this you must first of all create a database with any name of your choice well since you have wordpress here let's go ahead and use wordpress as the name of the database so to do that you go back to your browser we must first of all start your zamp server so we start the apache and we start the mysql so you can see they've started the screen mysql is green so we minimize it we use our go to our browser and head on to localhost localhost slash php my admin is here already so i click on it and allow it to finish okay so here i can go ahead and create a new database by clicking on new now you can see create database so i'll go ahead and name my database wordpress so after that i'll create a, i'll click on create so on the left hand side bottom side you can see that my wordpress database have been created so now that i've created my wordpress database i can go ahead and run the installation script so that i can install my wordpress to my local server so when i open another tab now click on local host remember this is my host name then i will access the wordpress file 
which we have copied to do htdocs so after that i can decide to assess the index dot php file after which i will hit enter remember the index dot php file is this one here you open the wordpress and scroll down you can see our index which is the very first script that the server we run inside wordpress and again if you don't know what is going on just go ahead and view our videos on web designing by the end of the day i believe you should understand this particular tutorial in total all right so now i have the script here i'm running the script so i have english language selected if you're not an english person you can as well choose busaski or english australia esperanto any one of your choice your choice is yours so but i choose english united states i continue now here it's telling you the database name welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on the database you need to know the following items before proceeding one database name two database username three database word password and four database host five table preface all right and um, our database name of course we know is wordpress we named it we created it not quite long while our database username will always be root uh, don't really ask me why after you go watch our videos on web design and we'll get to know all these things our database password is empty because we don't create any password when we are creating the database while our database host will remain our local host so the database preface will be predetermined by wordpress and is always wp let's just go ahead and click on let's go so we click on let's go the database name by default is wordpress so it matches our database name the database our username we said before for localhost the username is always root while the password remember i said is empty now the database host is localhost while the table prefix is wp underscore by default so having and put these things right we go ahead and hit on submit he said all right sparky you've made it through this part of the installation wordpress can only communicate with your database if you're ready time now to run the installation so we'll go ahead and click on run installation and wait a little more wait be patient for the system to process your information so here i can put the title of my website in this end blog site so i can call it anything but let's just call it the kekris after all that is my name so i call it the kekris then the username i can call it anything maybe i call it dk it doesn't really matter whatever you call your username but remember your username and your password you must remember to log into your admin end of the website so the password i want something simple so i still use dk now it's giving me telling me that it's very weak because it's a practice I go ahead and what click on confirm use of weak password because I know that it's very weak. So the email it doesn't matter. Remember, is a local server. I can call it dk at gmail dot com. All right. While search engine visibility discourage search engine from indexing this site, it is up to search engine to honor this request. But I don't want to discourage search engine i want search engine to index the site so that they can see my information so having inputted these informations i will go ahead and click on install wordpress 
I'll wait a little until the system processes the whole thing. So my username they are reminding me is what TK while my password is the one I've chosen is hidden. Remember, it's a very crucial information. Alright, so WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So I'll go ahead to log in into my admin so that I can access some features. I can post, I can blog, I can use other terms, you know, on my website. So I'll go ahead. I remember my username was TK and my password as well was what TK. So having inputted all these files, I will go ahead and log in. And you wait a little until the system processes your information to confirm. Yes, now you will log in into your um, back end, your admin. Wow, so it was a success. You've now logged in into your website. And if you go ahead and visit your website by clicking on localhost, remember it's our server, then we click on WordPress. Okay, WordPress and hit enter so you can see our website. So remember, had it been we are working on a live server, this what this localhost here should have been your domain name www.whatever.com is going to be your domain name then after which it will access your index file by default so the whole of this is going to be your www.whatever.com before you now start browsing you know navigating your website so um if you want to see this working on live server you want to know how you're going to install it on a wide live server feel free to watch one of our videos we did a video there just search our channel you're able to see a video where we, we talk about installing a wordpress in a live server but remember most of the c panels of the web host companies you always have a one click installation of wordpress so you don't need much it's all about clicking on a button and the server takes care of everything just a one click and you get your website your website installed all right so at this point we're going to call it a day don't forget to subscribe and keep checking back on us because we'll be releasing videos almost every week